Hey, it's Felice, totally awake, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, then welcome. Now, today I was just thinking about the fact that, you know, people that's waking up now during this pandemic, things are so clear for them, right? I mean, as time goes on, more and more YouTube channels develop and you know even the even the even the leaders are are um directing the members directly where to go to find the answers that they so cannot give and when those members do the digging and the research that they so need to do that their leaders are so afraid of them doing yet giving them pretty much the tools that they need and pointing them in the direction that they need to go and um letting them know what exactly they need to keep their ears open for you know when you hear something check it out don't just circulate it don't just believe it check it out suppose that out of curiosity you get into a discussion forum with individuals who claim to be Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. You don't know. Sometimes there's a TV program about Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, a few of these programs are balanced and fair. Many, or I dare say most, are not so. Now, Paul compares the Bereans with the Thessalonians. What do we know about the Thessalonians? Well, they didn't have YouTube in those days. So, brothers, we really have to think about these things. Uh, we may read that a person or an organization was sued and then settled out of court. Does settling out of court mean that they were guilty? They're even encouraging their members to lie. When you sit up there and tell your members to act stupid, when people start asking about these things that they're going to ask about, okay, when you tell them, where did you get the idea we let our children die and don't accept medical treatment? Where did you get the idea that we let our children die and don't accept medical treatment? When, you know, the householder can point right to where you you said in your own publications you, you, you don't accept blood transfusion and you have let people die, including children, and they have been praised for this, in Awake magazines, you know, you're teaching your members to lie. Your members already know everybody. That's no secret that you let your children die when it comes to refusing a life, saving blood transfusion. You, you do. So we already know that. You know, the members already know that. But they're told to act dumb and pretend like this isn't a thing when they're trying to witness to someone at the door or wherever they are, when they start asking them these questions. You know, to me, it's pretty clear these days that those governing body members are just eight evil men who want to control, manipulate, and ruin people's lives if you don't obey and follow them. I mean, your life is already ruined and doomed when you're following them because they don't, I mean, you know, you can't you can't hardly have no fun and, and live, be and be your authentic self. You have to constantly be worried about the organization and what they approve of. But it's quite clear to anyone waking up just how evil these men are. There's no question you know, when I was waking up six years ago, I questioned while I was waking up whether the man believed it, whether the leaders really believed in what they were doing or if they, if they knowingly misled people. But once you learn about everything, once you become totally awake and learn about all of their evil you know that they are just evil. There's there's no way around it. They are knowingly 
They are knowingly ruining people's lives, dividing people's families, hurting people, slandering people's names like mine. My name has been slandered so much in that organization from the members, my name was slandered growing up, to now that I'm awake, the leaders are slandering my name because I am going public with what I'm talking about. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> I'm adding to one of the faces when you think of an apostate. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. We need as many faces as we can. They want to keep us silent. They want to keep us trapped and in bondage like them. But we're not, we're not going for it. You know, my son asked me, he was seeing some of my video and he's like, so your mom is listening to him pointing at David Swain over you? And I'm like, yeah. Even a kid can see that that's crazy. You're listening to these men tell all these lies about your sweet daughter. About your sweet friend, niece, son, brother, sister. Sometimes it's so exhausting. It's so exhausting trying to think of how to put in a video, you know, everything that needs to be said and, and told and exposed about these evil group of men that's, that's misleading and hurting people. That's keeping people's families not only away from them, but having them thinking that they were rot from the very beginning, that they slipped in as rot. Satan was always their father, you know? This is very damaging, these words that they spew. Because these members look at them as if they are speaking for God. So God is telling them that people like me is rot and evil and Satan is my father. We're mentally diseased and we're stirring Satan's brew. And that's not at all true. But it, but they, they, they slander our name like this all to get their members to not listen to what we say, not listen to what needs to be revealed to them, not listen to all that is being kept away from them. They don't want them to find out about any of their evil, conniving, sneaky ways. They know that they are the ones who are sneaky. Google them, Google them, Google them, Wiki them, Wiki them, Wiki them, JW. Facts.com is only giving you facts.com.